Here's the quick start guide to give you an overview of how to work with Citus Link Pro. We're gonna cover setup, patching, parameter control, and recording a queue. To go deeper into all the aspects of Citus Link Pro, check out the Citus Link Pro user guide series covering each of these topics in more detail. Let's get started. First, using your iPad, connect to a Wi-Fi router like the Citus One, and then launch Citus Link Pro. Using the gear icon in the top right, set your protocol either SACN Multicast or Artnet Broadcast. SACN is the default. And then configure your universe numbers. Citus Link Pro can output four universes concurrently and defaults to universe one through four on both SACN and Artnet. Next, we're going to add and patch in your first fixture. Tap the green plus sign on the top right hand corner and select add new fixtures. Here we'll scan for any Citus Bluetooth mesh fixtures automatically that have their Bluetooth function reset, and then you can add them to your scene. To add DMX fixtures, under the Add Fixtures section, tap the plus sign. From here, select the light manufacturer, series, model, and DMX profile you would like to use and click Next. We're going to select Aperture, Mini, MC Pro, and Mode 1 for the CCT RGB profile. On the next screen, double check your work and set the DMX start address. To control each light independently, you will need to have a unique set of DMX addresses for each light. For these lights, I'm going to start at 001. You can view this with the universe view by clicking the dial pad button. Here you can drag and drop your fixtures to assign new DMX channels and avoid any conflicts. Click the X in the top corner to continue. Next, select your universe and the number of fixtures you would like to add. Then hit confirm. I will add two units here and the second light will patch directly after the first light automatically. If your fixture is not yet in the fixture library, after tapping add new fixture plus sign, on the select a profile screen, click create new DMX profile and click next. Add your manufacturer, series, model, profile name and number, and then select the DMX parameters based on the DMX chart for the profile you are creating. Next, select the DMX start address for your patch and click save. This new fixture profile is now saved to your device. Now that our light is patched into Citus Link Pro, we need to configure the light to work in the same way. So on our MC Pro, go to the DMX menu and for DMX profile, set it to profile one RGB CCT. Next, go to DMX address and set it to 001 and then we will enable CRMX pairing. If the light was previously paired, we will need to unlink it. So in the CRMX menu, enable CRMX and press unlink. Then on your Citus One or CRMX transmitter, make sure that it is set to TX mode and then tap the link button to send the pairing signal to the MC Pro. Now the light is connected to the transmitter. Now back on the add fixture screen, you can tap the plus sign again and add a new fixture type and click save. Now, all of the fixtures you have added will appear in the fixture list on the left and will have a new slider in the center area we call the stage. The stage is where you can see and set values for the lights. When you want to save these lights that you have set, you will record a queue. The lights on the stage are not yet saved into a queue. When a light is selected, the parameter controls will appear at the top of the screen. This is where you will have all of the options to set intensity, color temperature, hue, saturation, and much more. All of these parameters will approximate the output color of the light onto that slider. Go ahead and add a few more fixtures and set their levels, and then we can move on. After you've added and set the levels to a few lights, let's go ahead and lock in that look that is on the stage by tapping a master and then hitting record. This will save the values currently on the stage a new window will pop up to create a new queue. This is where you can name the queue and choose what happens with the queue. We will name this queue House. Once loaded, you can give it a wait time until it should advance to the next queue, like a color chase, or have it hold on the queue it just loaded. You can also apply a fade time of the transition between each queue. Let's leave it on hold so the look stays and select a color for our queue card and press OK. Now you have your look saved and that look is on your stage. The values shown on the stage always take priority over the values running in a queue. So before we clear off the look, we will want to hit go on the master so that the new look is playing. 
Go ahead and press go and you'll see the status change to hold. If you had set a wait time, it would start counting down until it reaches zero to go to the next queue. If we had a fade time, we would see it count towards the fade time. Now that our queue is outputting, we can clear the stage by pressing clear. So if I have a queue running with an MC Pro at 100% blue, and I bring that light onto the stage and change it to 10% red, the light output would be 10% red. The running queue is still 100% blue, but since the stage always takes priority over the queue, the output of the light would be 10% red. I can then merge my values from the stage into the existing queue by pressing record and selecting merge from the window. If I just press clear without merging and saving, the light would return to 100% blue of the queue running underneath it. So that was the quick start guide. Be sure to check out our user guide series for an in-depth screen-by-screen education to level you up to Cytoslink Pro.